<clears throat> Welcome back everybody. Bullying, it is something that most people deal with at some point in their lives to some degree. But have you ever considered how bullying impacts your overall mental health? Well, James Sweeney and Laura Timney are both mental health therapists and co-owners of Discovery Counseling Services. Welcome to the show. First off, uh, tell us about uh, tell us about your place, Discovery Counseling Services. Okay, so Discovery Counseling Services, we've been open about two months. Um, we are located off of 17 and 295, right behind River City Marketplace. Um, we offer, we have three different therapists there, our nurse practitioner as well, who does our medication management. Um, and we're just here to help the community as much as possible. And we're talking about bullying, but maybe we should define what bullying is. Because sometimes people are like, they, they have a complaint and they say, oh, that's not that bad. That's not really bullying. But bullying comes in many forms, and especially today in the digital <clears throat> age. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's hard sometimes, I'm sure, as a, as a kid to determine, you know, where's that line between teasing and then now bullying. You know, I'm really taking a look at how, how you are affecting someone else or how that person, you know, you know, is visually, you know, being affected or, you know, if the child's going back home, there's, there's behaviors being displayed, things like that. So just really being mindful and aware of, of the effects, you know, mm -hmm. and and you know, if teasing can go to a certain point, but you know, when when you start seeing those those outward behaviors and things like that, or, you know, that's that's a huge sign. And when you say outward behavior, what do you mean by that? It could be as far as isolating. It could be, on, and the opposite spectrum it could be aggressive behaviors. You know, so it really is a wide, depending on the individual, it could really go either way, um, but definitely out of out of their character. So the person yeah. who's being bullied, yes. or, or yes. is that also behavior of someone who's becoming a bully? If Absolutely. We, we yeah. want to talk too about. I yeah. mean, we hear a lot about the person who's being bullied, but there are there obviously are a lot of bullies out there who yes. then mm -hmm. who something's going on with them, and then they grow right. up having to know that they were right. a bully when they were when they were younger. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Yeah, like you said, there's there's a reason that the, that child is bullying or adult that it's bullying someone else, um, and then of course, yeah, like you said, growing up, um, dealing with not only the reasons why you were bullying someone else, mm -hmm. but also the guilt and whatever aftermath was left from doing that, you would have to. Um, work and that's through what as you're well. here for, yes, right? And breaking yes. that stigma too, because some kids and adults don't really want to come to you know the fact that oh, I was a bully. I was doing the bullying or I am being bullied. It's really hard for kids to sometimes tell their parents that. And we encourage that to tell your parents, tell an adult, tell the counselor, or principal, somebody or even somebody at your job, a close friend. Now let's talk a little bit more about bullying and how it can affect someone's mental health. There's a lot of different ways that can affect someone's mental health. Um, anxiety, of course, depression, um, all intertwined, you know, low self-esteem, things like that can can definitely form um, different different behaviors and different things. Um, the longer that goes on, the more the more serious and the more the more things that are to work through and to, to really get to the root. Um, so the the thing is that we would like to get out today is is really just being proactive, and you know just having that honesty and that open communication about if you are being bullied, or even if you are the bully you know, just, just coming to terms with that and just really just being open and honest about it and just, you know, breaking that stigma of we can't talk about this. And what can you know? we do as a community to, to, to address this and tackle it beyond taking it seriously? Right. I mean, monitor what your children are doing on social media, what they're feeling at school mm -hmm. as an adult, what's going on in your workplace, you know, and get help. Reach out. It's okay. Mental health is, is important. I remember when I was in high school and we would see one of the kids getting kind of bullied or picked on me and my friends would kind of come to the rescue. So if you're talking to some individuals out there, what can they do to actually help? Yeah, I think that's, that's great that you brought that up. Um, yeah, just, just if you see something, definitely step in in, in a, uh, you know, a, I guess a healthy, <laughs> you know. Always say something. Bring it to friends. Yeah. <laughs> yes, bring it to yeah. friends. Bring, bring, bring it, it back friends. down to level Absolutely. until everybody to come right. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Always be kind. That's what I tell yeah. my kids. Be kind. And what if you see your kid on social media and they're being, they're doing, the, is that something you, you punish them for? Is Do you take away their internet? Is that something that you then should say, oh, maybe I should bring my child to counseling? Like, how's a parent without, you never want to shame a child sure, for, for anything they're doing, but how do you correct that behavior? I mean, with my, my kids, I know my daughter was bullied and I had to really take her 
to this to the side and just tell her like you have to be kind to everybody and if and if your child's doing that absolutely you have to teach them kindness like why are you doing this what's going on what are you feeling at home or maybe you're being bullied at school and you're trying to take it out on somebody else but definitely getting help getting reaching out to a counselor well, we're very excited for you guys to come onto the show and talk about such a serious subject. But you have a special offer for everybody today? We do. Yeah, so um, a 45-minute session will be $55. Um, and that's open to the next you know, 20, 30 people that, that would like to call and schedule an appointment. Um, and we're just very excited to you know, help the community and just be there for extra support. Well, we appreciate you coming on, and it is such an important topic on both sides of the coin, both sides of the issue, especially if you're a parent trying to help Absolutely. navigate your child, whether they are the bully or they are being bullied. It's, right. it's a tough call as a parent these days. Well, thank you both so much for being here, and a special Absolutely. thanks to Discovery thank Counseling Services for sponsoring this really important segment and topic. You can visit discoverycouncilservices.com for a list of their services or to book an appointment and remind them again of the special offer. It's um, 55 for 45 minute session. And you can give them a call and schedule that at 904-801-3794.